In this video, we will discuss the pathology of osteosarcoma that is a malignant bond forming tumor. And the first point to understand is the age distribution pattern of osteosarcoma. Now keep this point in mind that all the tumors that contain the word osteo develop in the young age of less than 30 years. For example, osteoid, osteoma and osteoblastoma develop in younger age group. But this osteosarcoma is a slight deviation in this rule that instead of just being more common in the younger age group, it shows a bimodal age distribution, which means that the most common, most commonly, this tumor occurs before 20 years of age, that is the young age group, and along with this, they can also occur in the old age group. So, a large peak is shown in the young age, and a smaller peak is also shown in the old age. This feature of being common in two age groups is called bimodal age distribution, and these osteosarcomas follow this bimodal age distribution. Now, as far as the origin of osteosarcomas is concerned, they originate from the metaphysis of long bones. You know that metaphysis is the region that is present between the end of long bones and shaft of long bones. So, osteosarcomas arises from the metaphysis of long bones. Now, thirdly, on radiological appearance, they show as lytic and sclerotic areas, which appear as slightly darker colors in the usual whitish area of bone. Other than this, they can also show lifting of periosteum that is called Coatsman triangle. So you can see here in this diagram that there is a periosteal shadow that has been caused by lifting of periosteum. This feature is called Coatsman triangle. So in radiological appearance of osteosarcoma, you see lytic and sclerotic areas in the metaphysis of long bones. And you can also see lifting of periosteum that is called Coatsman triangle. Now for morphology of osteosarcoma, the keywords to focus are bone forming malignant osteoblasts that show invasion. You know that in osteosarcoma, osteo means bone forming and sarcoma means cancerous. So cancerous cells have two properties. They have malignant appearing osteoblasts and they can show invasion. So the keywords to focus are bone forming malignant osteoblasts that show invasion. Now the first keyword is bone forming. So on microscope, you will see osteoid matrix or mineralized bone that is in fine lace like configuration. The second keyword is malignant osteoblast. So you will see features of malignant cells that is pleomorphism that is difference in size and shape of cells. And you will see large hyperchromic nuclei that means the nuclei will be very large and hyperchromic. The third is presence of bizarre giant cells. So these malignant osteoblasts show features as pleomorphism, large hyperchromic nuclei and some cells are large in size that are called giant cells. The third keyword is showing invasion. So you will see that tumor cells show invasion into the medullary canal of bone and they can also invade the vascular structures or blood vessels. Overall, on microscopic picture of osteosarcoma, you will see fine lace-like arrangement of osteoid matrix. You will see malignant osteoblasts that are pleomorphic and have large hyperchromic nuclei. And you can also see invasion into medullary canal or vascular invasion.